What's up, y'all? I know some of y'all probably wondering, where is this intro? Well, I haven't been able to use it because I was uh, getting some copyright claims on it, so now I'm having to readjust. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about that. Today, I want to mention something which may be a bit controversial um, or uh, you know, serve as something that you know individuals may have a difference of opinion about uh, according to whom you speak with or you know which parent you want to you know talk to about this particular topic but today I want to discuss the how the when and uh, give you some tips for uh, talking to your children about sex I know I know but we have to discuss this uh, before I do that make sure to uh, if this is your first time uh, make sure to hit the notification bell make sure to subscribe make sure to like and share the video please do that for me happy new year to those who are just joining me for the first time first off with the emergence of so much uh, uh so many computers and everything seems to be uh, going in the computer age uh kids are having access to it there's so much open talk about sex i think that uh this is very important so um you know, I'm not going to say that I, I'm a specialty on what I'm about to discuss. These are just uh, my uh, opinions uh, that I do have, so you can take it for what it's worth. But I just want to inform you and just basically enlighten you in, in terms of something that you can do. Now, look, when I was coming up, <laughs> there were only two types of uh, sexual orientation. That was the heterosexual type and uh, there was the homosexual. Now... No disrespect to anyone. There are so many variations of sexual orientations and what have you. So it's best to discuss this and talk to your children so that they can, uh, you know, kind of like be informed and know exactly what what's out there because you don't want them to be led uh, blindly. So first thing I'm going to talk to you about is the how to talk to your kids about uh, sex and what I've done. First of all, you have to be cautious, especially in choosing your words, especially when you're talking about identifying uh, body parts, make sure to use you know what is uh, deemed the proper terminology. Because if not, then kids are going to learn you know the wrong terminology, and you know kids have a habit of repeating things these days, and you don't want to get into that uh, uh, sort of jam and, and having to you know you know actually redo what somebody else has done. Another is, I don't think that you should wait until they have questions because then the longer you wait, you know what I'm saying, they may learn from someone else. And then again, you, you, you have to redo what uh, other people have put in their heads. Another uh, way of, uh, I think, uh, should, you know, be uh, used as how to talk to kids about sex is sit them down and, and be specific. And, and and don't just you know you know mean what you say and don't just say well look um you know there, there's 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 a birds and the bees and things like that no nah, we, we're not gonna focus on that because those days are alone and gone these days you know be more specific but specific to a point to where you don't have to go into details to, to details about what you're talking about because there there are children who can understand and there are there are some who claim to understand and later on they still have questions so you want to be more specific about uh the te terminologies that you use but you don't want to go to so much in so much in detail to where you know they are really confused so the thing of it is you just don't want to confuse and that's my opinion um uh when should you talk to your kids about uh sex well to me it depends on your uh understanding of how advanced your child is uh, I have a child that's eight years of age, and he seems to understand a great deal. So um, I'm not uh, advocating as to what age you should talk to them eight, nine, seven, six. That that you know you knew, you know your child more than I do. So therefore, you'll know when that person uh, is ready to receive uh, whatever it is that you you know want to convey to them about sex. Another is when uh, when they start asking questions, don't 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 say. Um, I don't want. I want to talk about it, or you too young to understand, or you just totally ignore them because uh, that leads to a great deal of curiosity. You know what I'm saying? So they want, you know, well, you want. They want to ask mom and dad some questions. You be like, I don't have time, or you don't need to know exactly. That's, wait until you are old enough. No, what's wrong with explaining to them now? Because what we try 
What we are trying as parents to combat is having other people explain to you, your kids about what you should do uh, in your household. And lastly, when, and this is, you know, kind of uh, a situation that we had run into is when uh, boys uh, and girls start to notice, like when, when kids go to the bathroom, the uh, opposite sex, uh, say for instance, the uh, little boy stands up to use the bathroom and girl uh, sits down. If for some reason, the, the, one of them gets a glimpse of how the, the little kid goes to the bathroom, they have uh, questions about that. And that's the time when you explain to them, well, hey, such and such has a penis, such and such has a vagina, so they have to sit down to use the bathroom. Don't just say they have to sit down and boys have to stand up, you know, because kids are curious at this time. And I don't think that uh, there's, there's no problem in you explaining to them the reason why uh, each uh party has to uh, uh, do whatever uh, the opposite when they go to the bathroom. So lastly, let's talk about some tips um, for talking to your child about sex. Number one, try to answer many, many questions, um, you know, in the way that, that a children should understand. As I, as, as I mentioned, you know, they're very curious about a lot, a lot of things in sex, sex to them, you know, a lot of kids tend to learn it at a, at a, at a, a young age, and this would definitely help out if someone touches your kid inappropriately. And it, and this goes back to what I was saying. You know your kid more than 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 anyone else, so you know when they're ready to uh, uh, to uh, receive any of the information that you have to convey about sex. So don't just try to push it off because that can create a, a great deal of uh, uh, confusion with them. And again, you know, if anything happens to them inappropriately, they'll be able to know exactly. So you want to, you know, you want uh, to keep that line of communication open. The next one is beware of some of these cartoons out there. There are many, many, many cartoons these days that involve a great deal of sexual orientation. So you want to try to like um, uh, uh, spearhead this, catch this before your kids actually get off into this. And, and, and see this by accident and then you have a problem in itself because uh, with the, this goes back to uh, the sexual orientations and things of that nature and you know many many kids see things in a, in a different light and like I say I'm, I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with transsexual, transsexuality or homosexual anything of that nature but you want to have the kid to understand you know that the, the, this is what some people do when they get older things of that nature are made, you know, you, you, you just kind of like be there for them. Maybe sit down and talk to the kid and, 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 and kind of like, you know, monitor what, what, what they are doing. That's important too. And then as far as his cartoons, as I mentioned earlier, you as a parent will, you know, will be able to um, decide for whether this, your child should watch this cartoon or not. Uh, another tip, as, as, as I mentioned, um, Try to be as direct as, as, as you can, but not just overdoing it and, and just get more into detail about what sex is all about. You kind of like want to keep it on a level that they wouldn't know. I mean, there are some parents out there that just, just, just go to the limit and just tell them everything and then woe is, you know, woe is the, is the situation. But you don't you don't want to give them feed them as much. You want to carry them along as they get older, to you know, so that they will know how how to handle certain situations and be very confident in their sexuality and be able to understand and know what each part does doesn't do and the, you know just you know what I'm talking about. And uh, lastly, uh, I want to say, uh, I, like I said, another tip is, is just you know sit down, don't. Don't allow anyone else to to um, teach your kids about sex, because that way you may they may get the wrong information. Create and then you have to create damage control and things of that nature. So that's just basically what what I want to come on and talk to you about. You can take it for what it's worth, but I just want to share my particular tips in terms of uh, how to talk to your kids about sex, when to talk to your kids about sex, and um, certain tips that you can actually use now. These may be wrong, these may be right, but if you have some, you know, put them in the comments and we'll definitely share those back and forth and you probably can help me. But I don't think I plan on being a parent anytime soon, but I think I did a pretty good job. So with that being said, I want to thank you for uh, watching Third Eye Visions and make sure to tell a friend and um, I'm out.